there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and today I'm going to teach you how to set up client certificate authentication on an AS2 server using Jscape MFT server. Not all AS2 servers authenticate trading partner clients through usernames and passwords. Many of them use digital certificates. If you want to know how to set up this kind of authentication on your AS2 server, watch this video. Now, this tutorial involves two AS2 servers. The first AS2 server acts as a sender, and the second AS2 server acts as the recipient. Let's call the first server AS2 server 1 and the second AS2 server 2. AS2 Server 1 can also be considered the client and AS2 Server 2 the server in a client-server architecture. In order for the server to authenticate the client, the server must possess the public key that corresponds to the client's private key. All succeeding steps shown in this video are based on the Jscape MFT server environment. Jscape MFT Server is a managed file transfer server that readily supports automated AS2 transactions. You may download a free, fully functional starter edition of this AS2 server by clicking the download link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube or in the post if you're watching this on Facebook or LinkedIn. Before we proceed, you need to set up the two AS2 servers. Setting up an AS2 service on Jscape MFT Server is easy. Just follow the instructions in the tutorial, the quick start guide to setting up an AS2 server. Again, we've provided links to that in the description or in the post. Do that for the two AS2 servers. So are you ready with your AS2 servers? Let's proceed then. The first steps are going to be carried out on AS2 Server 1, also known as the client. That's where we'll generate a private key and a digital certificate. The digital certificate will contain the private key's corresponding public key. Once this certificate, along with the public key, is imported into AS2 Server 2, and the private key loaded into a trading partner object in the AS2 Server 1 side, the two parties will then be ready to perform certificate-based authentication. We already published a video for creating a private key and its corresponding certificate. Just follow the steps in the video, how to create a client certificate. And then in the part where you're asked to export the private key, don't forget to assign a file name and a corresponding password for the exported private key file. So save the private key file and store it in a secret location. Now that you've created the private key, you'll now need to export that private key's corresponding public key. Again, the public key will have to be stored in a digital certificate. To export that digital certificate, go back to the Keys module, then back to the Client Keys tab, select the newly generated client key, click Export, and then click Certificate. As soon as the Export Certificate dialog appears, specify a file name, or just keep the one generated for you, and then select a certificate format you'll want it to be in x.509. Click OK when done. A certificate file will then be automatically generated. After saving that file, you should then import this file into AS2 Server 2. In a real-world scenario, you will have to send this certificate out of band to your trading partner's server administrator. That person will then have to import the file you sent him into his AS2 server. We'll now import that digital certificate into the authenticating server, which in our case would be AS2 Server 2. AS2 Server 2 will use this certificate to authenticate AS2 Server 1 when the latter first attempts to establish a connection. To import the certificate, go to Keys, 
client keys tab click the import button and then import file click the browse button and then navigate to the digital certificate file next give the public key or certificate an alias an alias is just an arbitrary name that will be used to represent this particular public key in this server's environment click ok to proceed with the import process if the import succeeds you should see the alias of your newly imported certificate under the client keys tab now in case you didn't know as2 runs on http or https as2 servers are actually able to perform certificate based authentication because that capability already comes with https to be more specific about it, the capability actually comes from the SSL or TLS part of HTTPS. Thus, for all this to work, you need to make sure HTTPS is already enabled and that the server is set to require HTTPS client certificates. For more detailed information about setting up HTTPS, read the post or watch the video How to Set Up an HTTPS File Transfer. To require client certificates, go to Settings, Web, then go to the Web tab, make sure HTTPS on host is enabled, and then tick the HTTPS client certificate required checkbox. Don't forget to click Apply. We're now done on the server side. It's time to go back to the client side. Now that the public key certificate has already been imported on the authenticating server side, it's time to load our private key onto the client. In this case, the client will be a trading partner object on Jscape MFT server. If you follow the instructions in the quick start guide to setting up an AS2 server, as instructed earlier in this video, you should now have a trading partner object ready for use. Assuming that trading partner object also points to AS2 Server 2, that should be the trading partner where you load the private key. Edit that trading partner now and click the client key button. When the client key dialog pops up, select the use key file option and then browse to the location of the private key file. Select the key file and enter its corresponding password. As soon as you click OK, you will have already completed the steps for setting up certificate-based authentication for your AS2 server. That's it. We hope you found this useful and we thank you for watching.